Hello everyone. As we all know global circular economy has been expanding over the past decade, and has become a focal point in numerous countries for tackling issues such as waste, pollution, resource exhaustion, and climate change. The circular economy demands a shift in consumption habits, the introduction of new business models, and circular production and resource allocation systems. Given the complexity of the circular economy, measuring and assessing its progress across nations is a challenging task. The circular economy varies fundamentally from the linear model of economic activity that we commonly encounter. It is a system based on recycling, reuse, repair, remanufacturing, and product sharing. Consequently, typical indicators of national economic performance in a linear system, such as GDP, productivity, and inflation rates, are not adequate for measuring circular activity. It is estimated that currently only 8.6% of the global economy is circular. Identifying the nations leading in circularity isn't straightforward due to the complex nature of the circular economy. Existing indicators do contribute to measuring performance in various areas that directly or indirectly affect the development of the circular economy. These areas include sustainable resource management, societal behavior, and business operations. Helen Burdett, head of the circular economy at the World Economic Forum, explains that there isn't a single universal metric to rank nations regarding the circular economy. Not-for-profit organization Circle Economy has developed a global circular economy metric, and groups such as the Platform for Accelerating the Circular Economy, and the United Nations Industrial Development Organization are investigating metrics as well. The African Circular Economy Alliance has emerged, indicating that countries are beginning to work together on regional levels. The ACEA, which primarily focuses on the public sector, works closely with the more private sector-focused Africa Circular Economy Network. In Latin America, the United Nations Environment Program, UNIDO, and national governments have formed the Latin America and Caribbean Circular Economy Coalition. In the United States, the Save Our Seas 2.0 Act has introduced a definition of circular for the first time. The UAE launched its first circular policy last year. Chile published its Circular Economy Roadmap in 2021. Circle Economy, based in Amsterdam, has developed the Circularity Gap Report, which measures the state of the world economy and identifies key levers to transition to global circularity. The Netherlands has set a goal of full circularity by 2050 and 50% circularity by 2030, making it a frontrunner in Europe. They have implemented transition agendas for five priority areas, construction, plastics, consumer goods, biomass and food, and manufacturing. China was an early adopter of the circular economy and has driven legislative packages that explicitly target the circular economy. It presents the circular economy as a viable economic reform model, and a central building block of China's vision of a harmonious society. Japan, a densely populated, highly industrial, and resource-constrained country, adopted ambitious waste management policies early on. Their latest Circular Economy Vision 2020 policy roadmap encourages industries to shift to new business models with higher circularity and improve resource efficiency. Since hosting COP25, Chile has made substantial strides in environmental areas. Its roadmap for a circular Chile by 2040 aims to generate 100,000 green jobs by 2030. The WEF hosts several major value chain action partnerships that work along global material value chains to advance circular models. It also hosts initiatives such as Scale 360 Degree, which aims to mobilize action among innovators, governments, civil society, and private sector stakeholders to grow the ecosystem for circular technology innovation. The approach that a government takes towards integrating a circular strategy within itself has a direct impact on how effectively it can develop and implement policy. Countries can be seen integrating circular economy within various ministries such as environment or economic affairs. An example of an integrated approach is in the UAE, where the WEF Scale 360 Degree Circular Innovation Initiative's National Advisory Board became the UAE. Circular Economy Council, with four ministries and private sector leaders involved. Another example is in Chile, where the Scale 360 Degree Initiative hosted co-creation sessions with leaders from large industrial corporations to identify opportunities for industrial symbiosis. The importance of partnerships across the public and private sectors to ensure a more joined-up approach to initiatives and policies to foster circularity is highlighted. 
Additionally, the importance of action on a local scale, as well as at global, regional, and national levels is emphasized.